It was heartbreak for Serena Williams on Tuesday after the 23-time Grand Slam champion was forced to retire from her first round match at Wimbledon due to injury. The seven-time Wimbledon champion had come into the tournament as a potential favorite for the title, and looked to be in good form during the opening games of her first match. But Williams appeared to slip on the grass after 20 minutes of play and, after a medical timeout and then falling to the floor in agony once play resumed she was forced to retire from the match. The withdrawal was all the more devastating for Williams as many assumed this could potentially be her last run at one of her favorite tournaments. I was heartbroken to have to withdraw today after injuring my right leg, Williams wrote on Instagram following the match. My love and gratitude are with the fans and the team who make being on center court so meaningful. I was heartbroken to have to withdraw today after injuring my right leg, Williams wrote on Instagram following the match. My love and gratitude are with the fans and the team who make being on center court so meaningful. This brought into question the playing conditions on arguably the most prestigious court in tennis, with other players such as Andy Murray voicing their opinions on the slippery surface. Many spectators voiced their own criticism of the court's surface, pointing out that other players such as Novak Djokovic and Coco Goff had also slipped multiple times during their own matches. With many criticizing the tournament for potentially putting its players in danger of injury, the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club, ELC, said in a statement to BuzzFeed News that they were happy with the conditions despite the complaints. The statement went on to add that the dismal weather had played a part in the court's surface being more slippery than usual, but that the grass would firm up as the tournament progressed. While we wait for confirmation of Williams' condition following her injury, the rest of her season looks uncertain. Having already pulled out of the Olympics before Wimbledon, it's likely her focus will now turn to the US Open at the end of August.